Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, hello, my name is Sarah Taylor. I own a skincare coaching and education company um, called Sarah Taylor Skin. I will always leave it linked below if you have questions, go check it out. But if you saw my last video, um, I briefly mentioned that I was gonna do a travel skincare video this time. If you did not see it, very quick recap for you. I spent the last two weeks of my life, well, what is today? The last two weeks of the last two and a half weeks in a hospital with my dad. So I got very good at travel skincare. This is my travel skincare bag. I used to work for Sunday Rarely, I don't anymore. Um, but this is what's inside of it. And I have just kind of, I feel like really narrowed down what's in mine. This is by no means me telling you that you absolutely need to have the these specific things because your skin and my skin are probably completely different uh, our climates are different our stress levels are different our hydration levels are different our diets are different there are a slew of factors that go into the efficacy of your topical skincare if you want more information on that or if you want to have a session with me I always leave my business linked below Adeline I always leave my um, business linked below feel free to book a session with me and we will get into some nitty-gritty detail about what works best for your skin but um, I did think it'd be a value to show you what really saved mine. Uh, while I was at like peak stress level, I was sleeping in a hospital, I wasn't washing my face every day, washing my makeup off, that kind of stuff. Like the worst version of myself I could be basically, um, for the right reasons, but still. What kept my skin in check, in shape, kept me going, and it just was one less thing for me to be stressed out about. So. Um, I carry this with me in my carry-on or my suitcase or whatever that I'm taking. This is just like what I dump all my skincare in. Regardless of what you use or what you buy, my best tip to you is to buy those little travel size kits, buy the holiday kits or whatever it is. If you like a specific product or you like a specific brand, anytime they do a smaller version of something, pick it up. Because you would be amazed at how handy those things are when you need to go somewhere or you need something small, or you need to get it through TSA, or anything like that, I've never regretted it. it whether it's hair care, whether it's skincare, whatever. So worth it. So something I always have in me is my shower gel. I use the Lalabo Santal shower gel, and I just, I've kept this thing as old, I've had this thing for years, but I kept it, and I just refill it with my full-size one, um, but it's perfect for travel. Something else I carry is my, and this is obviously in no particular order, my eye cream. Uh, I'm currently using the Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Eye Treatment Gel. Um, always carry your eye cream with you. Um, my treatment product is the Paula's Choice Clear Daily Skin Clearing Treatment. It's a 5% benzoyl peroxide. I got this because I couldn't wait any longer for my Kate Somerville thing. So I picked this up off on Amazon. It's like 20 bucks. Um, comparatively speaking, Kate Somerville is gentler. This is harsher um, on the skin. So if, if you're like nervous about the like side effects or the drying components or the irritation of benzoyl peroxide, of the two, I would for sure put you in Kate Somerville. But if you just can't find it, you can't wait any longer, you've used it before, you're gonna be fine. Just pick this up in a pinch, it works fine. Um, and it is 5%, it just is more aggressive, less, you know, chill. Um, my toner that I was using is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I grabbed this guy because it was small. It is actually great though. Um, I've used it, if you watch some of my older videos, I've used that thing for years. I just, I, I use a larger toner at home, but for travel, it's perfect. Um, my retinol is the smaller of the two. Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oils, this is the half ounce version. Um, this is great. If you want an over-the-counter retinol, especially if you want one that's not particularly drying, this is a really lovely option. Um, my essence is the Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. I have talked about this at length in multiple videos. This is one of my absolute holy grail products. I'll never live without it. Uh, any opportunity to get a smaller guy of this for travel, take it. I also have a smaller Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. This also came in like one of those little travel kits. Um, this thing is great. I have a little sample point perk, whatever it's called, of the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peeling Mask. This is the one that came out with, I think in March. It's um, the enzymes plus an AHA combo, so it's a nice mask. I did this when I, I think I had like 48 hours of 
not washing my face, so I did this just to kind of like breathe new life into my face. Uh, oh, moisturizer. I threw this in because I my another one died. It's the Mo uh, Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Cream. Um, anytime you get a TOA, anytime you get a gift of purchase. Well, I have a little like acrylic containers full of travel size stuff next to my vanity, which I desperately need to clean. I'll probably show that in Vlogmas. Um, hold on to them because these things came out. Oh, so handy. Same thing with this. I have a little tiny serum, some moisture bound rejuvenating serum. I carried this on me. This thing's like a shot glass of products, but it, it works. I have a little sharpener and I have, um, yikes. I have three three other things. I have a pair of tweezers. These are, dude, these are super old. These are like one of my OG videos of all time on my old channel. I don't even know how, I mean, we're talking probably eight years ago. I don't even know. I still have them, still love them. I'm a big, 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 big believer in buying for quality, not for it being $2, um, cause you'll hold on to it forever. My travel size toothpaste is by Marvis. I like Marvis. Um, it's Nice uh, if you have fitting enamel like I do. I need to get my, I need to get veneers at some point because my teeth are thin. But um, I'm not on the cards currently. So in the meantime, preserve them. And then I have my travel fragrance. I use Lalabo everything. So they sell these, well, probably really overpriced, but really handy. Uh, this thing is like concrete, but it's a travel container of your fragrance. The only thing that really sucks is that you um, you cannot refill this thing, so you literally have to buy another one of these. Um, it's super annoying, but they sell them in like a three pack, but when you buy this, it comes with one, and I am done with this now. So, hell of a bummer on that front, but this, if you guys have them, this is such, like if you, I'm like way to lo, lo, I'm way into the Labo, so, um, this is just like such a godsend. I just really wish they made these refillable because I have a big fragrance. Um, I just, you know, I can't fill. So I'm sure there's a logic behind it. It's just annoying. Especially when you're like, you know, last minute flying out, super stressed out, and you just want to smell good. Not the best time to find out that you're low. Yeah, so that's what fits in this comfortably. Um, and it's a pretty solid skincare routine. It's not like the most, you know, unbelievably thorough one you could do, but it'll get you through and it'll get you through with quality stuff, at least for me, right? Like that's what I'm, where I really care about is I don't necessarily need to have every single thing I could possibly have on my counter in my, in my bag. I need what I do have to be very effective. I need it to be the right size and I need to just not think about it. Like this isn't the time to try out new stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm a big, big believer in buy smaller versions of what you already love, take those. And then anytime they try to give them away to you, take them and say, thank you. You're a good customer. You're a good client, whichever, whichever place you shop at, how they refer to you as. Um, but yeah, so that's my advice. Um, and I can tell you, I mean, like, no joke, there were multiple times that I wash my face every day. There were multiple times, I mean, I would do my makeup one morning, I wouldn't take it off until the next night. Um, and I, I think I had one breakout, like one. And I'm acneic, and I was super stressed out. And yeah, so, <sighs> The power of products, right? So that's what's in my travel skincare video, or excuse me, that's what's in my little travel skincare bag. Um, let me know if there's any specific products that you guys really love that you can't live without. If you guys have any uh, questions about stuff, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'll do my very best to answer them. Um, Vlogmas starts on Sunday, so I am going to see y'all every day in December. Um, I'm very excited about it. And yeah, thank you so much for those of you who have sent me comments and DMs about my dad. I really appreciate it. <laughs> he said this a lot in the last video, but I really, I can't thank you enough for your, for your kindness. It's, it's just so lovely. Um, we're, we're doing good. He's doing good. He's chilling out. He's resting. He's watching a lot of Justified and uh, Longmire and Bosch, I think basically rural crime shows he's really into. Um, 
and yeah, I'm cooking for him, so everything's okay. You know, he's just taking it easy until his doctor's appointment. His doctor's appointment isn't until next week, so he has to lay super low until then. But he's following my orders, which is great. And you know, he's taking care of himself, and we're taking care of him, so I really appreciate all your all your kindness. It's just so sweet, and it's you know makes you believe in humanity and the goodness of people. So I figured I'd keep this video pretty short and sweet for y'all. I know you guys have Thanksgiving. You have to prep if you live in America. And if you don't, you probably have other things you gotta do. Um, but I'll see y'all on December 1st with Vlogmas Day 1. And I will probably see you every single day uh, for the month of December. I think I'm doing the whole month. Um, yeah. So anyway, if you guys have anything specific you want to see during Vlogmas, let me know. I, I am going to do a home tour at some point in the month. I'm going to do a decorate uh, tree with me. I've got all that kind of like content already planned. Um, I've got a lot of, I do have a lot of exciting stuff. At least I think it's exciting. You know, my grandma, 30 something year old self. Um, but yeah, so anyway, have a great day guys. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.